Campbell, Campbell, Natatan Zambi Yamazulu, King Fumo Chakuisa, Zambi Mawesha, Zambi Akubenesha, Zambi Moneni. I apologize, I just realized I forgot to do something before I hit the cord. And I need to fix that one second here. All praises, Yenge, Yenge, Away, New Siami, Campbell, Tekena. Luvuvamu, Yala. We give honor to Tatan Zambi and Pungu. My apologies. I just realized I forgot to set this up here. And it's time, of course. Sorry about that one moment. We're doing well by the grace of the Most High. We come once again with you with another teaching today. Uh, we're going to really expose the lies regarding the third secret of Fatima that so many people are celebrating today. That was an attempt for Lucifer to hide the truth from the world because he always wants to run interference and they lied about these things and even to this day he tries to run interference even though his time is up christianity is convinced that they were taking down his kingdom when all they were doing was helping him destroy the kingdom that should have never been taken and i'm not talking about and uh, I'm talking about here on earth and not in the world. This is why they've lied to the, to the people about the Holy Land. This is why they continue to deceive the world about what was supposed to be happening from the days of Noah. The world doesn't understand that everything is about a revelation three and nine concept that was given as I've given in many testimonies they don't ever want the Christians to help do Revelation 3 and 9 that's why they control like the, like the guy was doing in the video he was talking about it uh, once again welcome to another teaching um, And again, what are we what are we waiting for? Inki vingi, inki vingi, inki vingi, vingi dingi. Hello, mono vingi dingi, tatan Congo, the father of truth. <coughs> again, salak, kukisi yamboti, dumalang, saubona. Lou Vuvamu once again, Yala. I'm gonna start the music. Once again, I don't own the rights to the music. It's for not for my it's not for the it's for the edification of this channel and not for me to reproduce at any time. And we're gonna talk about why the churches don't teach Revelation 12 correctly because of the plan. And we're gonna talk about the 20th century and the things that were leading up to that and what they covered up about what happened in the 1800s. The real reason why they took down many of the uh, so-called emperors around the world, the Chinese, and I know now I know why the Japanese emperor, he kept his spot because he was cooperating. That's why they took down the last emperor of China. People don't understand that a lot of this stuff was because there was a plan in, in unfolding for the wealthy elites and the monarchs that kept their position were those who were cooperating with the plan that continues to be unfolding and that's why they covered up all the stuff about the real historical realms of the so-called imperialist agenda because see democracy itself is a fault is a fallacy um the real true democracy hasn't existed since before rome you are in a republic a republic means is that you are represented by a body of people 
That's why when they keep throwing that word democracy out there, it's all about programming because it's a bunch of lies. I'm going to talk about, you know, we talked about, um, I'm going to tell the real truth when, um, when we talked about um, the brother, um, the actor and the comedian, um, Dick Gregory, when he talked about when he beat Nixon in the presidential election and people don't want to believe it. I'm going to talk about the fact that Katan Zambi was actually behind that because America was supposed to do something that they refused to do. And this is all what Toko talked about when the Most High said he put it in America's hands. But America said no, that they weren't going to uh, fix the problem. This happened around the time when Kennedy was president and also right around the time Eisenhower left office. And why they really covered up what was going on with the whole thing with the bad pigs. Why they really attacked Cuba and why, and because Cuba was involved with Angola at the time. And so was um, Russia and the whole thing regarding like what's going on with Russia and Africa today. We're going to break it all down as to what the big deal is over what they're hiding and um, the actual understanding that Spain and Portugal, why they were played such an important role in the colonization period is that because their original name is Tarsus. Okay. Um, Tarsus was involved in our uh, thousands of years ago. They were involved in the conquering of the kingdom of Congo de Totola back then. And they once again were involved in the conquering of kingdom of Congo de Totola 500 years ago because the history records have been erased about the fact that, the, like, like I showed you, the Moni Congo existed thousands and thousands of years, going all the way back to the first man because the correct position, you know, and I heard, uh, I was listening to the video by Yaya Mikhail Masa talk about how Adama, Adamiya was the, is the wife of, of um, Zambia and Pungu, just like the, his, his wife. This is why when we talk about what happened with the first woman, why she was rejected the way, be, that why she became the bride of Satan, because you can only, there's only two kingdoms and they covered this up. The problem is the Christians think that they are the bride of the Christ that was crucified by Rome when they are the bride of the Christ who crucified the Christ of Rome. And this is the deception that they're going to find out is that you are Cain's bride and not Kung Kongo's bride because King Kongo is the one who allowed Rome to when he said that I, you cannot kill me, I allow myself to be crucified. It was King Congo who permitted that, the Tanzambi and Pungu. That's why um, the biggest deception about the Congolese people is we didn't need to know, know about Christ from Rome. We already knew Christ. We actually knew that we actually had thousands of scriptures and books this is what the Vatican absconded with. This is why Kimbangu called them the thief. Because um, when Toko went to the Vatican, he was going to retrieve what, what the Romans stole from the kingdom of Congo. Okay, that's what they're not telling you about Simon Toko and why they covered up this fact with the Christians because they gave them, that's why I said, you know, this is how dumbed down the Eastern, the, the, the protest is. So they're going to say that the 81 books that the Eastern Orthodox Church are not considered doctrine. And that the 71 books that the Catholic Church uses is still not considered doctrine. Oh, but the 66 books that were started from the time of the protest, when the Jesuits are the ones who removed them, is considered doctrine. But whatever. And so that's why I said we didn't need the Bible because we already had the Bible. But our Bible gave us all the complete instructions on how to do things the right way. That's why I told people they know the symbol for our kingdom, the red X that existed before Constantine. If you go to the brother, his name was, and I think his channel is still up. He was talking about Constantine um uh his uh truth unedited 
he did a complete breakdown of the red X that was being thrown up when they disagree with what Constantine was saying. And of course they want to call it the cross of St. Andrew, when that's a lie. It was the cross that was normally used for the kingdom of Congo when they crucified our people. Because Nimrod, when his tower fell, became that X. I was actually going to put the, I needed to pull up the book of Jasher. But let me get my song going, talking too much here, and then we'll get started. Manakumba say, Imana. One second here. If there's noise, I'm sorry. Oh, oops. And the sound didn't get turned on. Sorry about that. Kimbo, hallelujah. We're going to pull this up. For people don't know. You know, they talk about um, let me see. You know, um, they talk about the fact that they think 
Well, let me go to this. That crosses came from Rome, and it's a bunch of lies. Um, no, Nimrod used to actually kill people with crosses. And this is when it says he got it, and he then became strong when he put the garments and in Captain Zombie gave him might and strength, and he was a mighty hunter. You know, I've, I've had this argument with people, and it's Matuzola, as I found out. After the death of Adamo and his wife, the garments were given to Hanoka, the son of Yaleri. And when Hanoka was taken up to Tatanzami, he gave them to Matuzola, his son. And at the death of Matuzola, Noka took them and brought them into the ark that were with him until he went out of the Dar ark. And there going out, Kama stole these garments from Noka, his father, and took them and hid them from his brothers because they were supposed to be given to Ensemo. He was supposed to wear it. And Kama begot his firstborn, Kushi. Kushi actually means black. And he gave the garments in secret to their, they were with Kushi many days now. Secret is kind of stupid because the Most High saw it. It's like he saw them steal them, and he also saw them given to him. So it ain't like it was a secret. That's why I keep trying to tell people when it comes to Fumo Yusu Kusako to Tanzami and Pumo, it's like there ain't no such thing as a secret. He sees everything. And Nimrod and uh and he and when Kama or Ham he got his first bun. And Kushi also concealed them from his sons and brothers. Okay, when Kushi, remember Kushi's brothers are Mputi, Kemi, Kanani, Kanan. Uh, those are his three brothers. Uh, he had a sister. I don't know why. They, I know there's a woman in there. They keep taking them out. He had a, there was women in there. And it's like, pff, these people just, they. I know they have women in there. And, um, And it said, and Nimrod became strong when he put on. Now, Nimrod was not the son of Cushy's mm. first wife, but his second wife, Semiramis. See, if you go and you put, you put the wives of Cush. The wives of Cush, there ain't one wife. It's in the other books. See, they won't tell you. But because they want to hide it. It was in another scripture. But he had more than one wife. Semiramis was not his first wife. Shikusha's sons were Nimrod, Seba, Hollywood, Sabta, Rama, and uh, Sabika. And these, according to them, these other ch children were not Semiramis' children, but Nimrod was. Uh, like when they talk about Moses' wife, Sephora, it's usually described as healing from media. Masa's wife. But you know that that's the thing about it is they don't want to tell you these things because then it ruins it ruins everything, and the narrative is changed because then you cannot. Uh, you know, I actually saw this. <laughs> there was a live performance by KRS One, and he's really living it up now. That. You know, we're talking about how he knew the truth back in the 80s when he made Why Is That? And the problem was, is his coding came out of the fact that Nimrod, that Nimrod knew who Simon Toko was. And he covered it up because the spirit of Nimrod was already still upon the world, even at that time. 
and he and Cain, and they were hiding the fact that they knew that the third secret of Fatima, as I'm going to talk about. Hold on, let me do this real quick. We give honor to the Pemba Kalunga, Yenge Yenge Pemba Kalunga, Asalama Maliki Makongo. We give honor to Fumu Yisu Kusma Kongo, the Mwana Velala. All of the Basantu, Unkuluntu, descendants of Obama and Saka Yakubi, down all the way down to Mama Tata Adama and Mama Ewa, Awa, Yakongo, the kingdom of Congo, the Ntotila here in this, uh, the kingdom, up in the sky, up in the around us, and down here on earth. We honor all of you that are coming out of the lives of the colonizers. The colonial system has never ended. I don't care what people think. The educational system of America and around the world is still colonial. The businesses are still colonial. The colonial powers, all they did was rebrand colonization as um, a workforce mentality or what they want to call um, democracy. Okay. Democracy is just another word for imperialism. And the mindset is those who have the power control what's being said and the problem is they would have never had the power if we wouldn't have messed up and that's why they lied about what happened back in the spanish inquisition because that was when esau went over jacob and jacob went under esau and the protestant uh, the protest of of martin luther never switched it back that's why when they, they lied about the fact that when they created all this false knowledge in the 1800s going into the 1900s and the most high embarrassed Lucifer by making the sun dance in Portugal. And of course, the woman who shame is the white version of the Virgin Mary. It doesn't matter black or white because <laughs> Simaramis was black also. Um, but so was Malia Makongo. The concept is the Renaissance period whitewashed everything because they took the 12 tribes in the captivity by way of the Christians through the Muslims and, and, and also through Judaism, which we call the three frogs in Revelation 16. And the biggest lie about the Congolese people is we didn't need Rome's nothing. <laughs> okay. We taught Rome long time ago, not the other way around. And this is why when you talk about the King of Embo who brought this out, it's like, yeah, we were the ones that were running away from their lies. Then they said the Jewish, the, and, and of course people want to and see the, the secret societies are still pushing the thing that happened in Portugal. It's like, look, <laughs> we were already in the land of our forefathers in the 1300s. This is the biggest lie you've ever been told. OK, and that's why they needed to run interference, because they knew that, that the, when, the, when we reestablished the kingdom of Congo in the 1300s, that king took over the, 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 the power of the pope. The Most High did not recognize that pope any longer at all. He barely even recognized him even before. Like I talked about the video about the solidarity, the Church of Laodicea was always lukewarm and never stopped being lukewarm. And the protest never changed that. And the other six churches went under the Church of Laodicea, which was already lukewarm. And they were just as lukewarm at the Nicolaitans. They were still doing all of the practices wrong. The Julian calendar had nothing to do with the Most High. That was when the beast first made his first changes. Okay. Like we just saw they were celebrating Easter. It's like <laughs> the Julian calendar is off from the Adam calendar. That's why they took out the Book of Jubilees where it says you always celebrate six years too soon. And on top of that, the cycle is completely wrong because they made what North, they flipped it. They made the Southern Hemisphere the bottom and the Northern Hemisphere the top when it's really the opposite. <laughs> okay. It's like you're supposed to be going by the rotation of the Southern Hemisphere and not the Northern Hemisphere, whatever you want to call it. 
and they flipped everything like that. That's why people talk about um, why does the Nile River flow down towards the Mediterranean River, a Mediterranean Sea, if the South Africa, it's like, why does it go that way towards the thing if that's south and north? People are going to find out because, for one, the earth is not oriented the way you think looking down from the most highest perspective. And two, they flipped around a lot of things because they made it to where the people who were dominant had more authority over the people who were controlled. The Southern Hemisphere is actually the right rotation. You don't even know. That's why they call it April Fool's. All right. And one of the things that it talked about is when Nimrod was going to kill Abana, he was going to crucify him. Which means that he already had crossed the... Uh, Hold on. See, now this is where we had sorcery going on. And in the night of Abana was born, all the severance of Tela, it's actually T L T E L A, scratch the H. That's where the word Teller comes from. And all the wise men of Nimrod, so called wise, and his conjurers came out and ate and drank at the house. And we rejoiced at him, but they wanted, of course, to kill Abana. Now, when he found out he was still alive, um, so he got mad, he broke the he broke all of the, the. this is why, you know, Toko said Abana was the beginning of the church. He was Maliki Sadeki in spirit. Maliki, Maliki Sadek, you know how they say it. In the Kikongo Bible, it says Maliki Sadeki. But Maliki means brother. Sadeki means of the, of the, um, of the priesthood or of the truth. Like in Gangan Zambi. I'll even see if I can find the word. I'll put Sadeki. The priest, see? <laughs> the Sadeki. He was, Maleki means brother or angel of the priesthood. See, the priest. So Maleki Sadeki or Malchizedek means priesthood. See? They'll tell you. <laughs> if you look it up, it comes up. So Sadeki also means the priest in Kikongo. So when um I think I, I'm trying to find it. See, it says when the fool and Pele is take the G off. That's why they had the soccer name and name Pele, by the way. And he was black. That's why. When Pele, the son of Eb, and it was Ebeli, died in those days in the fourth year, Abano, son of Tela, and all the say the Pele were 239 years. When the Fumu had scattered the sons of men on the counter to send at the tower, then he actually put them back because there were the 72 tribes. And they spread in divisions. All the sons of men were dispersed in, uh, into the four corners of the earth. And all the families became each according to its language, its land, and its city. And that's where you get, even like when the Native Americans talk about these things, it's like they know more than the Christians actually know. That's why they know our father was called Wakanda, but they just covered that up. King Congo was called Wakanda. And as a tribe in the Native Americans in Nebraska that used it, I showed you. And it's, that's why the Wakanda means family, and Kanda means the book. And this book is it was in Kanda Yan Zambi, so it was the book of the Almighty or the or the scriptures or the, tool, the Torah. The sons of men 
Mount Book existed before the flood and after. And there were several flood events, but you know that big one was the was a big one. So what it says is, did I already pass it? Sorry if I did. See, it says here, he causes sons of men, and he causes the sons of men, the Benahun, to descend before it said, from the wicked go forth wickedness. Okay. And then notwithstanding, Nimrod did not return to the Infumu. He continued in the wicked, teaching wickedness to the sons of men, and Mardon, his son, was worse than his father, and continued to add the abominations of his father. And that still continued even to this day. This is why he the name Eric. Erica is affiliated with, um, he called the first Bible saying, because I'm from a confounded the language of the whole earth. And when he confounded the language, it means that they could no longer use the Holy Spirit to understand each other. They're lying about it. At one point, everybody could understand the Kikongo language, and then he stripped it. And the name of the second he called Eric, because, of, uh, because from there, Tatanzami dispersed them. So Eric is actually, if you have his name, I know people who do, this is given, this is why the secret societies pick this name for their children and they don't know it. And that's part of it because it was a curse of what the Most High did. Now, and then he said, Echad, this is where you get the word Echad. Um, the, the Jewish people use this and they just changed the E to an A. Akkad was actually the city of Nimrod. So I told people, the Canaanites know what they worship. You don't know what you worship. Akkad had nothing to do with the Most High at all. That's why they want to call this book garbage, because it, it ruins the narrative. Now, it talks about when Nimrod was going to crucify Abana. They said, no, we're going to throw him in the fire. Okay, so crucifixion came from Babylon. It did not come from Rome. Okay, and I even know the Greeks were using it before Rome even existed, and they lie about that. Um, these are, this is the whole thing about the three strikes. Three strikes comes from the crucifixion. I'm going to show you when they did the mockery. These are the types of the crosses. Now, they call it the, the of course, they say it's the cross of St. Andrew. But in the mockery of the planet of the apes, I'm going to show you that they did it all the time. And I think this picture will show up if I do it. So you had the Constantinian cross, which was technically a, a strong delusion. This, they have the Orthodox cross. The cross of Burgundy. Okay, the symbol for the Kingdom of Congo was this one, the saltier, or this, or what do you want to call it? Because when they, and I'll show you what I how I'm right is because when they did the Planet of the Apes. Now, one of the things that people don't know about this whole concept about the Planet of the Apes and the apes on horseback and this type of thing is that that's how when when the colonizers came to Africa, and this is a fact, when they saw us riding horses, they called us apes on horseback. Okay, they did the same thing to the Native Americans, actually, because they were darker skinned people. And they saw them, you know, you know, people say, oh, yeah, the Spaniards, their horses got away. And that's how the Native Americans knew how to ride horses. Um, that's not completely true. <laughs> because they said the historians, oh yeah, they were these ancients. I'm like, no, because the Chinese already had horses over there. That's why they covered up the fact that the horses, and see back then, when the Chinese were riding on horses, they were not the, the kind of Chinese you see today. Their history is so messed up because it goes back to what happened after their emperor got killed. He was actually set up by the, by the Solidarity or the Sanhedrin. And he was made to look bad because he refused to accept 
the changes that were coming with the whole imperialistic um, corporate entity, which is really what happened to the the, the, the czars. The czar um, had secrets and they wouldn't give them up. And um, the what was happening was um, they would have been an ally to Toko and Kimbangu had the, revo the Russian revolution, which was actually instigated, had not taken place. Now, every single revolution that has ever happened was actually instigated. And I'll tell you why. You cannot set up a corporate entity with people who are controlled by one person unless that one person is in agreement. So when you look at the sultans, you look at the, the princes of, um, this is why Saudi Arabia is a big fraud because they were in on the corporate system as well as all many of the other African. This is what many kings of Africa did when they kept their, after they broke apart Africa, and this is why they did this, and they made all the different sections, everything was about taxation. It was like what they were doing is they were recreating the way Rome did the same process of when they had their kingdom set up with the emperor, where you had different districts where they you would have the census you would have the um the the different that's why they even broke apart our kingdom before that's why they had the nazarites they had the different you know the zealots and all these other things it's like no you don't understand they were making europe the same way like how it is now where you had different regions where you would tax people according to their population and that's exactly how they did it again, okay? In the 1800s, they started over after they were able to get the land. That's why you have the, when, see, you have to remember, when South America existed, there was not these different con countries down there. You didn't have Argentina, you didn't have Chile, you didn't have Uruguay, Paraguay, you didn't have Brazil, you didn't have, um, uh, man, I'm sorry if I'm missing Colombia. You didn't have these things. It was all open boundaries. Okay, the same thing with Central America. Belize, you had Panama. You had um, Belize. You had uh, Mexico. Okay, people don't understand that the way you see the world today did not was not the way it was 200 years ago. It's garbage or 300 years ago even, okay? Even when the United States came into difference with the colonial powers, there was no boundary as far as the different, you know, even when you look at um, when they talk about the, what the Moors had established over here, and the guy actually found records of the fact that many of the cities, what many of the country, what it was is many of the provinces that were established in Europe were reflected over in America, both sides, okay? Because they controlled that for 700 years. Our people, Banabeto of Isolele, we protested against this districting somewhat. That's one of the reasons why we ran away. Because for one, they were breaking the Ark of the Covenant the real Ark of the Covenant of Noka, where the 72 tribes were supposed to stay where the Most High put them. Okay? The, and Samu people had their land. Um, uh, Yapeta's people had their land. And Kama's people had their land. But the Canaanites were supposed to not have any land because they were the servants, especially of Samu and the Banabeta of Isolele. This is why they're covering it up. Okay, once the Most High gave the countries or the continents or the lands to the to us, when these people decided to keep worshiping Baal, 
it's like they were all these other places were considered bottom a nancy because bail was coming in different forms okay so one of the you had different ways to torture people and people don't understand that there's a magical thing with the onk that they were using to put people in trances okay that's part of the reason why they had it now um a lot of these crucifixes as they want to call them are con connected to events that took place prior to the most highest thing that's why i told people when you take the latin cross and you make this kite looking thing you're gonna get a coffin because that's why you see why do they put a crucifix on the coffin when they when they when they bury people okay they know that they're putting you in the grave and you ain't going nowhere that you're going to be lower in the kingdom and not higher because they changed it from what happened here. St. Andrew's cross is not just St. Andrew's cross. When we go, I'm going to show you how they did the mockery. This is the planet of the ace 1968. You see when they said the forbidden zone? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is the three of these represent the crucifixion. This is Kepa. And this is St. Andrew. Boom, right there. This is the crucifixion of the thieves. And this is the crucifixion of Kepa. And this is the crucifixion of St. Andrew. And then when they did it in 2017, they showed you again. Okay? Because Nimrod, his deception in Cain was the ex pretending to be. That's why I said the false messiah who was really Simon the Sorcerer, which is really um, Tammuz, he crucified Isaiah Congo. And that was the Christian belief then. They don't get it. They didn't follow the Christ until after he was crucified. And then when they did it, they changed it <laughs> to where it was like, they thought it was him. It's like, no, the Sorcerer came in. And that's why we talk about why they covered it up. And I'll just and I'll, I'll prove my point about why they know this. So now this is why we got they got it. This is what see Nexum is a Nexus is a is a um, a news thing that talked about African Africars and the Fatima secret. Okay, and of course they showed the sun dancing in Portugal. Now why was Portugal such a big deal? Is because. They know Portugal was the one who came to the kingdom of Congo to help Rome take us into captivity. When we signed the treaty over to Rome at the time uh, under Pope Innocent, who himself was considered a heretic by the creator himself. It's like, no, he didn't recognize that Pope because those people were doing paganism and they were, man, you don't even know you're going to find out all of the sorcery and wicked things, you know, and the stuff that was going on, like how you see nuns today, it's like, no. <laughs> okay. This whole vow of chastity, and you don't even understand. And so the reason why he picked the three is because three is a number that the Most High uses. And he picked these particular people, this young girl, sad what happened to her cousins okay but she saw the aberration of Maria Makongo which they want to call the Virgin Mary Maria it was Malia because it was an R it was an L it was Malia that's where the that's where the name comes from for the Hawaiians okay which was our word for Bantu people for Maria so um that's what they're covering up so then when when you go to Revelation 12 it says now they will, this is why they misteach the fact that the great sign in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun under her feet, the 12 stars. Now, I'm going to show you how you can, I'm going to tell you where this is why you cannot replace Jacob. Each star represents one of the 12 tribes, 12 kingdoms. Okay. She was pregnant and gave birth and she screamed in agony of labor. 
Another sign was seen in heaven. Now, this is a spiritual. The red dragon with seven heads and ten horns. Ten horns represent the ten kingdoms. Seven headed, seven headed of the ten kingdoms. His head were seven you know, crowns. His tail swept down the third of the stars. This is going to be what happened. Oh, he would have done this back in 1917. There was an incident. This is when the fallen angels started to come down and jack things up. Okay. He stood in front of a woman in birth, devoured a woman. Okay. This is why when Toko talks the story, he said they tried to give him smallpox. She gave birth to the son, a male child. This is where you get the word Toko or Simon Toko from. The one who will rule all the nations with the iron staff. So, Kimbangu from Fumo Kimbangu prophesied about it because they're really one and the same. Okay, you don't understand. They were both. So, this man, and this is why they covered it up because racism and imperialism was so heavy at that time of white supremacy, of everything was white. Okay, this is the man that was called upon to rule the nations. So contrary to even what they think, he was always controlling them, even though they thought that he was, that they were controlling him and was like, no, it was the opposite way around. Okay, and even when they tried to kill him several times, they couldn't do it. They covered this up because had this been known, it would have ended imperialism across the whole world, the entire corporate entity, because at the same time this happened is when you had the formation of the uh, uh, the Federal Reserve, you had the incorporation of the World Bank, you had the corporate entities, everything was LLC starting with all the nations, including China, which is why they became our ally and not became our enemy. Um, Russia became an LLC. Okay. Um, this is why they had all these wars in Europe because it was over creating the LLCs. And like we talked about the Armenians, the reason why they were exterminated is they were trying to exterminate them is because they were fighting to stay away from the LLCs. Now, let's talk about Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler, and this is the reason why he's the bad guy. I'm going to tell you the full truth. His mission was to kill him. He failed. So this is what usually happens is when they commission someone to kill somebody and they fail, the Kaiser was supposed to kill him. Now, I'm going to go through the popes. Uh, let's see, where are they? Okay. Now, when the kingdom of Congo the Totala actually came into flourishing, it was during the time, let's go to him, Urban V, okay? It went until we at this time were already, we had the scrolls, we were doing the Most High's way. We, 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 the, like I said, we started arguing about gifts and we started arguing about the temple, about the fact that we're supposed to be the spiritual temple of Kuzma Kongo until he comes. And the Makaeli. So then what happened is right up until uh, Pope Innocent became this is where he was responsible for Diego Cal coming to the kingdom of Congo and the Portuguese and all the stuff that happened with that. And of course, the Spanish Inquisition. Okay. The Renaissance period occurred during Alexander the Sixth. Or the, 
yeah, the sixth, which is what they call the Borgia Pope. And this is when things started to get interesting about because this was the end of the rule of the Moors in Europe. Okay. This is when they started beheading people <laughs> and killing them. All right. So then now, when King and Zynga signed the contract, it was in 1485, right after he became the Pope Innocent. Okay. This started the reign of what we call the Catholic kings. All right. So then during this time, this is when we were transitioning away and still fighting against them and all of these popes, because you see the, the, the Protestant church, All right, so come on, uh, Martin Luther. All right, so in fifteen seventeen, so when we go back. So the Protestant Reformation took place under, where is he, Leo X. Now, Leo is another word, is a Latin word for lion, which is uh, the constellation, which was another name. See, he was a um, Giovanni di Lorenzo de' Medici. Now, this is kind of a deception because the Medici family were kind of darker back then. Okay. So during his time is when the protest was taking place. And it was because these um, three popes had covered up the fact that when the kingdom of Congo de Totila was taken uh, into captivity, they told him that they were found the, the real chosen people, okay? And they covered that up. Well, the deception is when, when the protest started here, and it was mainly being led by the Knights Templar, <laughs> the assumption was they put Jacob back on top and they put Esau back on the bottom. No. Because the reason why they were protesting is they understood the Pope was representing a false doctrine, okay, which would have been Luciferian. But like the guy talked about the solidarity, that goes all the way back to Nero, man. And see, what they're lying about is the kingdom of Congo de Totolo, the Banabeto Visolele, we were protesting against Rome since... see where is it now of course they're going to say peter was the first pope and it's a lie this is this is actually the first pope of the catholic church is simon the sorcerer <laughs> okay keppa had nothing to do with this simon keppa was the mockery at this time and this is when you go back to what took place with why they took out that scripture, the Acts of Peter and Paul, because Pata, Peter means Pata. That was never his name. Okay. So when you go where it says,
So they tried to behead Paul with a guy that name is Dioscorus, and they failed. Paola, Saola in the other book. And what happened is now I've read this before, so you might remember. Now here, see now you're gonna find out where they I told you the country of Libya gets their name from Nero's wife. And Kepa said this and such like the most part of the people believed. And it happened that Nero's wife, Libya, and the yoke fellow of Agrippa, the Agrippa name thus believed that also they away from their own husbands in the account of the teachings of Paola. This is when you had Thecla take place. Paula and Thecla, when she jumped in the so-called, she killed the sharks and when she jumped in and the Most High baptized her. <laughs> Many despising military clung despising military clung to the Fumu Tatanzambi, so that even from the emperor's bedchamber, some came to him having become Baklistu. Now, Christianos or Christianos was the worship of Zeus. We were a Bantwe Baklistu. This word did not exist. So there, like I told you, this is the word that was given by the sorcerer. Okay, so we're so in consequence, the people that were making seditious murmurings, Simon moved with zeal, rouses himself. So there's another Simon, like I said, there's a Simon that he's fake, and he rouses himself, began to say many evil things about Kepa. His name was Kepa, not Peter, saying that he was the wizard, that he was a wizard and a cheat. That's why what I told you is when you come to actually do the Bible and you follow the way of the Most High, they're going to call you wicked. And this is what happened in the days of um, of um, Congo when, when the Catholic Church came to us. They said, your way is wicked. You guys are sorcerers and witches and warlocks. When in fact, they were following this guy and they lied about it. Okay? And they believed him, see? And they believed him. So like I said, when you believe this lie, that's why Tatanzami says, then I will send you a strong delusion. This is what happened in Second Thessalonica. Okay? And now I told you, this guy was a Bantu. Okay? Wondering at his miracles, he made a brazen serpent move itself and stone statues to laugh and move themselves and himself to run suddenly to be raised in the air. But as a set off to these, Kepa healed the sick by a word, by praying, made the blind see, put demons to flight by a command. Sometimes he even raised the dead, and he said to the people that they should not flee from Simon's deceit. So that's what I'm trying to say. There's a Simon Kepa, and there's a Simon the sorcerer. Now, Simon the sorcerer represents Cain. And when he's doing this witchcraft and sorcery, he's like the, like I said, the conjurers like Nimrod, he's Sol Invictus, he's Apollo. Okay, he's the wicked, he's the false messiah. You have Kepa, who represented Yesaya Kongo, Fumo Yeswe, Yeswe Hamasia, the Banabeto the Banabeto Chulubo, who was righteous. Okay. And this is why he raised the dead. And that's why when Kimbangu and Toko and other people started doing this, it was messing up the plans of the missionaries who were saw that because now they knew they were, he was exposed. Like when, even when Toko said, you're worshiping Nimrod. Simon, Master, Master Guru Esau, Jesus Christ, as the guy talked about in another video that I played, that's the sorcerer. Okay. See, and this is the guy and his spirit caused us to get tricked into worshiping uh, the mockery of King Kong because, of course, the 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 alluring of the, the promiscuous nature of what was going on in the times of Portugal with the women and all these things. And it wasn't just, oh, it was France. It was, oh, you don't, man, when the real history starts to be exposed, you're going to see that 
there were many rituals with promiscuous women. The, the, the prostitution was already going on in every culture, almost. I'm not saying everyone, not all of the Native Americans, you know, in their major cities, there were some things going on. You're going to find out, okay, even in, even in the history of China, they have women, you know, the geisha, these type of things. It's like a, the harlot, it go, Sodom and Gomorrah has been going on for years. People act like, oh, look at what's happening now. It's like, no, it's just coming out from the open. You know, those those houses, those what they call mama son houses, they existed a long time ago. It isn't like they didn't have them. Okay. That's why when they talk about um the Chinese houses that they used to go to in Britain, one of the one of the frequent flyers was Ben Franklin. <laughs> okay. That guy was always in there. So don't think that they didn't do this stuff. That's why he called himself a spiritist. He was not even close to knowing the most high at all. Okay. Um, and thus it happened that all pious men abhorred Simon the Magian and proclaim him impious. But those who adhere to, to Simon strongly affirm Peter, Kepa, to be a Magian. So now you're seeing this is where it started. You do the Most High's way, you're the sorcerer. You don't do the Most High's way, you're the righteous. But you think you're doing the Most High's way. So it says, bearing false witness, many of them were Simon the Magian. So he's the one sowing the tares among the weak people. So that he matter, matter came upon the ears of the Nero to Caesar. And Caesar came from the name of Nkuswa Congo. Okay. And he came order, as we know, but let me thank the people that taught this. And he gave order to bring someone to Magia for him. And coming and stood before me, became suddenly to assume different forms. That's why I said... It doesn't matter when we keep talking about Messiah. Oh, uh, you are a hypocrite and this and that when you talk about it. No, he can be anybody, okay? He's all these different false, different religions. He can be anybody. This is where Satan masquerades as an angel of light so that a sudden he became a child he became an old man. He changed himself. See, he's a shapeshifter. And don't think that he was the only one. <laughs> and the face and statue form, he was a frenzy having the devil as his servant. Correct. Nero beholding this supposed to him to be truly the son of God. See, Nero said, I believe he's the man. Because I'm seeing, that's, this is when we talk about Satan. When it talks about lying signs and wonders. And Paul was Paul was talking about this. He wasn't talking about now. He was talking about then. And this is still going on. But the apostle, the Balongoki Kepa, showed him to be both a liar and a wizard, and pious and impious and apostate. What makes you apostate? What makes you apostate? Being the opposite. Of King Congo's way. That's why people don't know who he is because they lied. Okay? And in all these things, or Tatan Zombie's way, to the truth of, of from Fumu, see, this is why the Mosai's name got taken out. He's part of that. And that nothing yet remained except his wickedness being made apparent to the command of Tatan Zombie, he made manifest to them all. Then Simon, having gone to Nero, said, Oh, good emperor. I am the Ben Muntu, come down from heaven. See, I'm the son of God. Until now I have endured Kepa, only calling himself an apostle, but now he has doubled the evil. So this is what I'm talking about. Master Guru Esau, Jesus Christ, AKA Simon the sorcerer, who's sowing the tares among the wheat. Because at that time, you have to understand, 
is a person that even showed in the alphabet, there was no letter J in the Latin alphabet until the English Saxons put it in there. There was no G, there was no J, there was no W, there was no U, there was no Y. That's why the V became the doble V, became the W, and the U was brought in under um, the time of um, right before Henry VIII and those people, okay? You don't understand these letters did not exist. There, the, the J sound was a mixing of a D and a G sound of the Congo, J. Okay, they came the letter J later on, but it was not the way we called our, we didn't say no Jisu or Yesu. It was yes, the Y actually came from us because we call you that. Okay. And he said, the, 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 the Balongoki of Nazarene, because the reason why they were called Nazarene is that was a province, okay, where the Romans people, that's why I'm going to talk about the Book of the Bee, okay? Every time, everywhere Rome went, they turned it into one of their provinces. It was marked off with territory. It had boundaries, Okay. This is a race of men who turned aside all of you from believing in me. So this is what I'm talking about. This is why Nero is then going to go and kill us and burn down Rome and say, we did it. But they're going to say the word Christian when it's like, no, that was the sorcerer. He was Christos. That's why when the, the one person was talking about the, the interpretation of the word Christ, Christo, Costo, Christos, anointed, that word existed before the real Messiah even came. Okay, and he, he's more than one person because he was here several times. The false version was here several times and the real version was here several times. People don't understand this. Because the false version was always the the first son I could told you that that real first son of Noka of Adama, and then Kaina, and then the others that were affiliated with this. Okay. Now watch this. Pontius Pilate to Claudius Green. There was lately happened with myself concerning about the Bayuda, through envy have inflicted on themselves and those coming after them dreadful judgments. The fathers and see envy here again. The father said their fathers had promises that their Fumu would send them this holy one from heaven, who according to reason would call would be called their Intinu or king, and he had promised to send them. Now this is why the Sanhedrin rejected because they accepted Herod and not him. Okay. But technically, he wasn't truly fully a king because he said it's not my time to rule. But he still became a king in the kingdom of Tepanzambi after he left. That's why he said to become like me, you become a king. But he said that this also was the way it was the time of Adama. And also um, Samuel, who was a king, and Matuzola, who was a king, and Hanoka, who was a king, and so was Nseta. And this is why when we talk about the bride, the bride is anyone who is an obedient to the bridegroom. That's the whole concept. This is what it means to be like Messiah. See, Christianity, they're, all, they're always in disobedience because they have been made to break the first commandment. So they're not the real bride. The Banabeta of Isolele, we were already the bride. But once again, we became disobedient. Okay. But there was going to be a remnant who were on the list of Mayamona who always were going to be considered holy from the beginning, or Basantu. Okay? Then the chief priest moved with envy against him, seized him, and delivered to me, telling the lie after they said that he was a wizard and did contrary to the law. And I haven't believed that these things were to give him up. This is why Kepa was told by the sentence he was going back to be crucified again. This is what it means when he says, I, you, cru you, you crucify the Messiah again. 
is to think that the wizard is the most high. <laughs> okay. So that's the concept is Christianity is always crucifying the Messiah. Islam is doing the same thing. Judaism for sure is doing it. And the whole world is actually crucifying a flesh again because you cannot learn the truth from the secret societies who set up all of these churches. It's like, no, they're, cru they're the ones that's actually crucifying the flesh again. Okay. And they're lying about it. Okay. That's why when Toko came and he said, look, the Baptist church is a hypocrite because first of all, it was started by hypocrites. So therefore, when I'm going against them, it's because they're not teaching the truth. They're using us for the benefit of the false God. That's why he told these people. Okay. That's why they wanted to destroy him because he was giving it away. So, you know, this is the, the image. This is what Rome, this, this came from the Vatican people. And they knew that they were the jig. So now when you look at it, I'm going to take you to the popes. So then when these popes came into the mix, go to the bottom. Okay. So then these popes like 1903, they were getting wind of the fact that there was going to be a coming sign. Okay. Now, when you look at it, when you look at Benedict, Benedict was the Pope when Kimbangu was prophesying, and he's part of the reason why he got thrown in jail. Not like not this like the people would say, oh, uh, this is what I told the Kimbangu is stop listening to the wizard. It was Benedict the uh the fifteenth who ordered Kimbangu to go to prison. Because he actually came and visited Toko. It wasn't Simon Toko who put ben, who, did, who did that. This that's the false messiah telling you lies. <laughs> okay. So then he came and visited Toko, and his role, if you're gonna see it, all of these popes right here, okay, from here on, their job was to destroy this man. him okay so then when you look at Pius the Tink now when we talk about Hitler and all the things that happened with him and the world and people don't get it it's like no there was a hidden war being fought with the fallen angels and the Anunnaki and the Nephilim that was being hidden from plain sight and when it talks about making war against the lamb, okay, these men, even from the time of back here, all of these popes were fighting against the Most High's people, every last one of them. And the Protestant churches, contrary to what they think, they were also killing the Most High's people too. <laughs> in slavery all around the world, okay? So then when the imperialism started to happen during all this time, and <clears throat> you, know, you know, they say the Masons were against these popes. <clears throat> uh, you had um, George Washington who came into being right around Clement. Then you had Benedict and all these other people and of course the Jesuits, the biggest lie is it never stopped. So then when these popes came in, okay, so now when the third secret of Fatima was supposed to be read, it was him that was supposed to read it. Okay, just to show you, um, John Ionis, like I told you, they don't spell it right. Ioane. And Timo means heart. When I put the word John, you 
Yoani. That's what this means. That's his name. This is where he got it from. Then they got a double N. Okay. Let's go to his name. I O I O A N N E S is this Ioannis John. This is Latin for this word right here. Like I said, in botica. Okay. See, he was Anglo Giuseppe Roncalli. Roncalli is a you know Italian thing here. And what he was supposed to do was tell the world about him. Well, he didn't do it. He refused. Okay. Now, let me show you what was going to happen. While Poka was now, Toko went into prison. This is, you know, he. I'm going to tell you, he was involved with what happened in America in the 60s, as well as what took place with Russia. You don't even know. <laughs> he was well aware of what was going on at the time, and he was also involved with the Vietnam War. Okay. When this pope came into, into being, you see that he was the pope through the race wars in America and the Vietnam War. He's the one that sent Toko into prison. Okay. And was saying that Toko, and he, and of course, Toko came out while he was still there. This is the guy, you can see John, Paul, see Ione, see here again. This person, he was going to read the, because the, they kept bugging him. What's the third secret of Fatima? What's the third secret of Fatima? He was going to tell people about what really happened about Toko. He was going to tell them. And then he mysteriously, oh. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he only went, it's like I said, 33 days. That's how you know. This was a secret society involvement thing because we know the number 33. He only lasted 33 days. Hmm, why? Mysteriously, he went goodbye. Now, St. Paul, John Paul, Ionis, like I said, here go the name, Pavlis. This is their name in Italian. You don't even see it. He sent an order to kill Simon Toko. That's the reason why he got shot after Toko died. Um, let's see, when was his assassination attempt? All right, so 19, as like I said, it was on May the 13th. Now, that, now that's funny because it happened on the day of the third secret of Fatima that they tried to shoot him. Okay? And they claim in it, it was connected to the prophecy of Lucia. No. What happened was he was supposed to tell the world. Remember I said, Toko said, I reopened Jerusalem. I opened it up already in 1981. I showed you in the book where he talked about it. The Mosai got ticked off because he would, Tatan Zambi is the one he was supposed to be. This is this guy represented Esau. You don't get it. He is an Ashkenazi Jew in bloodline. And this was supposed to be the end. This is the reason why he came to Africa and then said, uh, God is black and Jesus is an African. 
when he came to visit Africa in the 1990s, in the late 1980s. Because at this point in time, that was supposed to be the beginning of the rule of Yakubi, Isaiah, over the world. And they lied about it. This was supposed to be the kingdom of Congo then Totila, now reestablished. And the, and the gatekeepers in America said, no, we ain't going nowhere. Because see, um, when they did what they did in the 70s, that was all the process of dumbing down the black man. This is when they created a lot of the gangs. A lot of things started happening. People have no idea what was going on. This is where the really the, the story they clone Tyrone comes from. Okay. Because the music industry, the entertainment industry was weaponized against us. And this is when you got, this is when they created the porn industry. They, they weaponized the churches even more. Um, and I know this is when, and I don't know if he knows it or not. Now he knows it probably. This is when they had to make Farrakhan more aggressive in the nation of Islam because they couldn't, while Farrakhan was still talking when he took over, okay, So I'm going to spell his name wrong. Farrakhan, when he took over, let's see when it says he starts it. He was born in 1933. Ironically, that was the year they made uh, King Kong. And King Kong was a mockery of Tatanzambi. Now, he was a Calypso singer. Calypso is another name for the word for the witch, Okay. My, my uncle is a musician of Calypso. He played the steel drums regularly, okay? Um, he was a great, he still was doing it, even doing weddings and stuff several years uh, until he got sick and he couldn't really do it anymore, but he could make those like Winston Spree Simon. And it's funny how the guy who ain't invented the steel drum is Winston Spree, Simon. Okay? Simon, okay, again, connect, connected to both the C word for seed sore. It's not a coincidence, okay? So then, um, when did he start? So let me, let me get to the after. Um, so he was in the nation of Islam in 1955. So when he became the voice. So in 1963, Malcolm was dead. Elijah Muhammad promoted uh appointed Farrakhan to two prominent positions, okay? In 1975, he was declared the new leader, um, and that was the year, and, and it was a day after his father died. I'm sure he knows about it. Well, this is when Simon Toko, <laughs> this is the year after This is the year after he came out of prison. And Nieto, at that time, and it was the secret societies, and they know that they were involved in it. He was in a prayer session. Uh, after he got out of prison, he was actually at odds with the Tokuist church. Because what had happened was while he was in prison, they were getting fake letters. That's why I told people there was a fake Simon Toko running around while he was in prison because they were forging these letters. That's why he talked about it in the book that Masley wrote, that there were people getting fake letters 
as if they were. And this is the same thing that even happened during the time of Paola, that people don't know that some of the biblical letters they got were forgeries. OK, when he was writing letters like Timothy and all that. And the world doesn't understand is this happened quite a bit back in the day. And I know I'm going too long and I'm really sorry. See, where am I at? I'm in an hour and 25 minutes. Okay, I'm going to cut it off here in a minute. Uh, the sun, let me get some light. Okay. So, around this time, Toko was already... Toko was trying to unite Africa, okay? He was trying to get the leaders to unite Africa. And this was a problem because they knew anybody who tried to reunite Africa since they broke it apart in the 1800s, you were the enemy of the state, okay? Now, the whole thing that went down with Russia and everything was a psyop because it was they were that whole thing between Russia and America was fighting over minerals and resources for the corporation to lay claim to whatever. Um, and of course, like I told you, this is Gog and Magog. OK. When the Saudi Arabians picked sides with America and they pick sides with uh, our agreement, they became affiliated with Gog and because that was the ancient Babylon at the time, that's why they and Russia were at odds because the Russians back in the day as Magog, if you go to Jeremiah verse 51, they were involved in the liberation of the Banabeto of Isolele then, when Nebuchadnezzar was king, I'll prove it to you. Uh, let's go, and I'm gonna I'm try not to go too long, but let's go to let's go to Jeremiah 51. These were all the nations that were involved, and they're still doing it right now because the names are still the same, and and God they know this. So it says, I will see, I will stir up the spirit of a destroyer against Babylon and the people of Leb Kamai. Let's go to the, the CJB version because, you know, they, the different translation is a little bit better. I will stir up a destructive wind against Babylon. I will send foreigners to win her and leave her empty. This is why America's in debt because it, it got repeated. This is why Americans are paying debt right now. They will besiege her from every side on the day of disaster and let the archer draw his bow. So this is the repeat because technically Babylon being Rome now, this is why China, Russia, and all of those who are claiming to be against the Catholic Church, because remember, they've been fighting the Crusades. This is when I heard the one leader, I know he's, a, he's an instigator, because they know the truth about Islam anyway, but he said he 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 criticized the Muslim the, the Muslim community for siding with Israel against Hamas. Okay. What you don't understand is this is the same stuff from this time frame. Same people. You're gonna see Ishmael in here. Okay. Let the archer draw his bow. Let him flaunt his coat of mail. Do not spare her young men. Completely destroy her whole army. And the land of Kazdim and the slain will fall. Thus, those thrust through by the sword in her streets, Isaiah and Yuna are not left widowed. See, this is what I'm trying to tell you. You cannot replace the 12 tribes. This who stuff, get rid of it. It's Judah. The H stands for Horus, people. That's why they keep putting it on there. And her rule. You are not left widow. And then the zombie, uh, and this, is, this is what in zombie and Pungu means. But the land of the chasm is full of guilt before the Holy One of the Solele. Flee from Babel. Let him not save his life. 
That's why we say, that's why we talk about those who try to save their life will lose it. Those who try to lose it will be. But then there are those who have special missions the Most High has put in place. Do not perish because of her guilt, for the time has come for the vengeance of the zombie. She, he will repay her for, for what she deserves. Who is he repaying? Who is really she? Go back to verse 50, Marduk. This, this is when he said that the curse be the woman who bore you. People don't understand that. People at this time were actually darker skinned people. Now lots. Babel was a gold cup in the hands of Tatan Zombie and the, made the whole world drunk and the nation drunk cover wine. Go to Revelation 17. It's right there. Same thing. Revelation 17 says the same thing. I'm going to play this second uh, revelation. Okay. I encourage you to listen to this second revelation. Because it talks about it more. Tabor, where also can I don't own the rights to this. This is a this is in the liver, this is in the public domain. It's called the second revelation. That's why I told Christians you don't have the full book. There's another one. And that last chapter and verse that they use is a lie. They removed this because it is more detailed about what's going to happen. All right. That's why they talked about what happened. So like I said, around the same time in the 70s, we were supposed to be transitioning back to the land of the, the real land where Toko was like, hey, Angola literally means dispersed ones. Okay. All right. The nations drank her wine. This is why the nations have lost their senses. Correct. And this is happening again. Babel is suddenly fallen. She is broken well for her. Bring healing. Anoint her wounds. Perhaps she can be healed. Well, we tried that. That's what I, what do you think I've been trying to do? But she's like, nope, I ain't doing it. And I know who she is now. <laughs> okay. They're like, no. It's like they, they, they're refusing to do this. It's like we're telling them, hey, you're going the wrong way. No, we don't know. We know exactly where we're going. Da, 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 whatever. The Christian church is the most high's way. No, man. You drunk with her wine, just like Islam and everything. This is part of the three frogs. She cannot so leave her alone, and each of us will return to his own country. Now, this is going to happen. We're going to leave her alone. It's like, get the heck out of Dodge, man. Watch this. For the judgment against her rises to the skies and reaches even the clouds. That the zombie has brought for our victory. Can't come, let us proclaim in Sioni the work of Captain Zombie are in Fumu. Sharpen the arrows, fill the quivers. This is why they're building up. Why do you think they're doing all these elephant walks? This is what Russia is doing. This is what China is doing. This is what North Korea is doing. This is what they're doing in the Middle East. Why do you think they're calling for nukes in Iran? Okay. Um, this is what America is doing. Europe and everything. And zombies, see, because they're going to they're gonna say, we're going to defend Babylon. But it's like, no, because they're going to turn. They already turned on the whore. That the zombie roused the spirit of the kings of the Medes because the plans of the, is he plans to destroy. Now, where is the kings of the Medes? Where is Medes? Let's find it. The Persians. Hello. What is Iran? What is Iraq? What is Pakistan? Hello. Why do you think at one point the Pakistan, the Afghanistanians were our enemy? Then they became our allies. Then they became, because they one, one time they were with Russia, now they with America. What do you think is coming here? 
the Persians are going to jack. My wife, this is the the the, the 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 they're trying to be buddy buddy, and not that the Sami said, <coughs> "I'm going to take the Prince of Persia and destroy these false kingdoms." Okay, because he plans to destroy. This is the vengeance vengeance over his temple. What is his temple now? This is the lie. Oh, it's the church. Garbage. The temple of the Most High is the spiritual temple of himself. Who is that? This is the lie. It's not Rome. It's not the Greeks. And it for sure is not the European pagans who've been lied to for the last 2,000 years. His temple when he said Jerusalem will be trodden down to the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled, who is that? There was no name Israel. Isis, Ra, and El did not exist. It was Isaiah. That's why I put it up in the Kikongo. Israel is on the move. Isolele, the one that I love. Okay? The Bayuda, the, ba the, the Banabeto of Isolele is who he's talking about. Raise up a standard against the walls of Babel. Why do you think I did the Congo flag? <laughs> Strengthen the guard, post the sentries. This is what they're doing now. They're building up. Yeah, we're getting ready to fight World War III. Okay. Prepare the ambush. Yep. The ambush is coming. And I'm going to tell you, when they did it in World War II, don't think, man, stop listening. Man, I'm telling you, they instigated Japan. Japan was in on this. Let me tell you something. Because of what happened to the emperor of China, the emperor of Japan was on board with the plan, yo. Okay, but then the reason why they're still fighting against, you don't understand, Japan is fighting against the incorporate mentality of what the Khazarian people wanted, but it doesn't matter because Buddha and the, and the Messiah that they're waiting for is the same. So it don't matter. Malak is, Buddha is Malak, and so is the Messiah that the Jewish people are waiting for. But then so is the Messiah of the Christians. It's really Mahalo. I keep trying to tell people, why do you think Tammuz's name is affiliated with cancer? It's illness. That's why Simon the Sorcerer, that's why we, we never wish to be all this sickness. I'm telling you. Okay. He's prompt. This is why you talk about, you know, the water shipment, because this is all going back to Nimrod and this piracy and the whole, the, the land of the seas, the maritime. This is tied to Revelation 2. When it says, you who live near plenty of water, so rich in treasure, your end has come. What is the most, what, what was the city that became the blueprint for the rest of the cities of the world, like you see in Dubai and, and Saudi Arabia and these things. What was the blueprint? What was the first major huge city that existed in the 1800s? New York. Okay, let's find out where the where, where old York was. It was in the United Kingdom. Let's go to it. York, England. Look at see this capital. You see this stuff here? York is a cathedral city in Yorkshire, England with Roman origins. Look at the look at the symbol. 
the Red Cross. <laughs> what did I tell you? This is the symbol for the Knights Templar people. Cited on the confluence of the rise of Owls and Foss, it is the county town of Yorkshire. So then when they came over to America, they gave you New York. Okay? And New York became the what? Shipping capital of the world. <sighs> Goods and services, exchanges. That's why it's called an exchange. What do you think an exchange means? People don't understand what the word stock exchange means. It means I'm exchanging, you're buying, we're exchanging, we're exchanging, we're exchanging what? And if we don't like how you exchanged it, we coming for it. That's the whole purpose of the military is <laughs> to guard the exchanges. You really don't know what they're for. It's to guard, the military job is to guard the exchanges of the businesses. It was always like that. That's why you see why China's getting mad and why Russia's getting mad. It's like, how are you going to tell us how to exchange? We do it our way. You do it your way. How do you become what? The guardians of the seas. Why is it only you? And then Canada's what? With us. Britain is with us. All French, are, we're all like that, right? NATO, when they talk about, oh, NATO, which is really old time, which is really old then, because the, the Babylonian symbol exists in the middle of D.C., and that's why the Statue of Liberty, you don't understand, is Sol Invictus in a dress. <laughs> you people don't know how blind you are. <laughs> okay? It's Sol Invictus. The false messiah is the Statue of Liberty. Go sit down somewhere. You don't even really realize it. You're living in the deception. He made his earth, his power, established. Okay. I will I will fill your, you with men with numerous as grasshoppers. They will rise out of, over you and shout of triumph. This is the whole thing that's going on right now with the border. You don't even know. Why did they just running into the country now? <laughs> Repeat. He made the earth by his power in Golo, established the world by his wisdom, spread out the sky by his understanding. When he thunders, the waters are heaven roar. He raises clouds from the ends of the earth. He makes the lightning flash and the rain. This is why I keep trying to tell people. Christianity, they, they're people, they just dumb down. Look what it says. And oh, with the weatherman. Oh, the science. Oh, this is how clouds are formed. And baloney. Crap. The God of Abana and Saka and Yakubi. You don't know his name because they took it out. It's Tatanzambi and Pungu. Not no Zeus. Zeus is the one who, who orders to do these things. Okay. The lightning bolt. I'm sitting there watching Stormy Daniels, and that's why I knew it's a damn lie. She got the lightning bolt on the necklace. Hello. She worships Zeus. Just like the so-called person and Donald Trump is Zeus. Man, go sit down. <laughs> okay. You're gonna find out he's biff like my, like you said, the biff tanning. That's that's the, the cracking, that's bail. Stormy Daniels worships Donald Trump, just like so many people know. You're going to find out the whole world is worshiping Donald Trump. Watch. <laughs> He's your Jesus. And oh, yeah, he used to be, he was black. <laughs> Donald Trump was a black person in the past several times. <laughs> oh, don't tell him that. <laughs> Donald Trump was a black man in the past. Woo! Go sit down. He was Kane. Kane Hey! <laughs> Zombie. People going to be shocked. Donald Trump was what? Yeah, man. Donald Trump was a black man in the past. Go sit down somewhere. Hey, you're going to find out. They're bringing some big bombs today. That's why he know, he know Kane was black, man. Go sit down. <laughs> 
You don't even know. That's why he said, I'm friend. Now you see, you know, I'm friends with the black community. Yeah, because he father was black. He grandfather was black. He grandfather was black. He grandfather was black. Mm-hmm. Don't tell him that. <laughs> the people gonna go running. <laughs> oh, that the zombie. Let's tell it. Donald Trump grandfather was a black man. Woo. Yes, sir. Sir actually come from Nimrod. And he was a black man. Uh, zombie. Kama, uh, Donald Trump grandfather is Ham. <laughs> Ham was a black man. Ooh, let's go. Hey, that's my baby. We're going to find out the pass down on the floor. What? <laughs> yes, sir. You're going to find out. And so was uh, he, he fathered your pet grandfather. Your pet was a black man. Ooh. Hey, no, don't tell him that, no. <laughs> boy, I'm telling you, you're going to find out you're going to fall on the floor, boy. He made his earth. Everyone, his, that this everyone provides stupid ignorant. Every goldsmith put to shame by his idol. Correct. Every goldsmith is going to be put, this is going to happen again. The figure he casts are fraud. There is no breath in them. Correct. This is so-called Jesus. You see Christ the Redeemer. You want to know who Christ the Redeemer is that you see in Brazil? Oh, it's Zeus. It's Baal. Oh, no. That's the most high child. No. You're going to find out this one. Black, white, Asian, it don't matter. Tammuz was a black man. That's Donald Trump grandfather. Oh, he looked like Obama them. Oh, you don't even know. Obama and Donald Trump are related. What? <laughs> no. You're gonna see. <laughs> Donald Trump and Donald him him and Biden they related. Go sit down somewhere, just like Kennedy and all. Oh, jeez, I'm brave. Oh, but he's the real Jesus. No, he's related to Simon the Sorcerer. Man, you don't even know. <clears throat> You are my war club and weapons of war. With you, I shall shatter it, and I, you, I will destroy kingdoms. With I shatter horses and their riders, and I shatter chariots and their drivers. And you, I shatter husbands, wives, I shatter old and young, with shatter young virgin, shepherds of the flocks. Okay, I will repay. Bavir, all the living in the land of Kazdan for the evil they did to Sioni. Yes, sir. It's coming now. It done start up with the tornado, them in the hurricane and the flooding. And it done. Oh, this is the Kabbalah. The Tatanzabi running the Kabbalah, my son. Oh. <laughs> Tatanzabi control the Kabbalah. They don't even know. Tatanzabi controlling Putin and them. <clears throat> He can, he controlling she and uh and and uh, what your name and and zoom and and uh you see how you see the the um the 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 president uh of um Congo is now on the side of Russia was he doing the same thing like who Patrice Malumba oh hello we're going back to the repeat of 1960. How long ago was that? Hey. How long ago was that? 60 years ago is 2020. 64 years ago, there go your 10. Cain was 730 years. They always do the 10. You don't think this is a coincidence, my son. We're going back to 1960. When Kimbangu and Toko, Kimbangu was gone, but Toko, he was in the spirit of Toko. They sent down the Maliki Congo into the thing, and Congo got the independence in 1960 in January. Hello. You don't know what's about to happen. <laughs>
I don't tell you. Eee, you people sleep in. Raise the banner in the land. That's why I got my Congo flag. Blow the shofar among the nations. That's why I'm talking. We got to do the Caribbean style. You know, we got to do the Bantu style. I'm blowing the shofar because we're doing the Bantu style. <laughs> We've gone this so far like that. Prepare the nations for war against her. Bam. Now watch this. Summon. This is the problem with the most high has. Our rat. Oh. That's really not Turkey. But so, why do you think South America said we are against Israel? We are against America's what? So South Africa spoke out against this because that's where it really is. But then Turkey now pretending because they what? They are the Turks. They are Ashkenaz. Why do you think now all of a sudden Ashkenaz is speaking out against Israel? who is supposed to be affiliated with America, I don't tell you Ash, Ken, which actually means yes, Oz. Put the I on the end, you get Aske, Nazi. Hitler was a Ashkenazi Jew. But he also had connections to Ethiopian descent. They, they know that. Okay. <laughs> Ash. That's where you get the word ash from. Ash tree. Ken. Ken doll. And actually means yes in Kikongo. Kan. Yes. Appoint an officer against her. Bring up horses like bristling grasshoppers. Prepare the nations against her. Yep. Putin. Everybody rallying now against the U.S. That's why you see Canada. Let's go. Okay. The earthquakes and rivers at the Tanzami designs again are fulfilled to make the land a ruin with no one living there. Let me make it very clear about what's going to happen, why they did the future deception in the planet of the apes. What did they show you? Hardly anybody was living after this in America. I had the vision already. <laughs> I don't see it. As they say, I don't see it. That's why you say they're doing the wrong English because they're speaking back to back forwards. I saw it already. You have no idea. <laughs> Warriors are giving up fighting and remain in their fortresses. This courage was failed. Her homes are on fire. Her gate bars broken. One runner runs to meet another. Messenger to meet messenger to report the king. Why do you think they have all of this stuff going on, man? The daughter of Babel is like a threshing floor or treading time. Yep. You want to know who the daughter of Babylon is now? The three frogs. Yes, sir. You're going to find out. Christianity, Judaism, and Islam are the daughters of Babylon. At the time of the harvest, and at the time for harvesting, her her will come. So, like he said, he does this harvest. At the same, do you understand? The harvest has happened many times when it comes to the remnant. Now he coming to the final harvest for good, done with Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar is Trump. And he's also the spirit of, of, of a way. That's why Trump and Biden are the same. They both Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> okay. Has devoured me. Crushed me. That's why we're saying America. How many times have they gone into the Congo with the Roman Empire and crushed the kingdom of Congo then took it out? You, how many times? 
Every time we go into captivity, they crush us. Eey, don't even get it. Like a monster, he swallowed me whole. See? The most high people, how did he do that? They they kill a lot of sheep, the people. Okay? Then he rents me out. But who lives in Sunny will say, may my torn flesh be avenged by Babel. See, when we are the children of Nzambi and Pungu, and we get torn up, he gets torn up. When we get eaten, he gets eaten. That's what they don't, the Christian don't get it. You have been devouring. But he said, when he said, because my shepherds did what? They scattered them across the mountain. So all of these false priests, that's why when you go to face the most high, he going to say, you were killing me. Huh? How did I do that? Let me show you. You were devouring me. You were destroying me. Huh? Remember he said, you're supposed to be feeding us. You're supposed to be taking care. You're doing the opposite. <laughs> you're causing them to sin and go the wrong way. It's like you eat, you destroy him. This is the trick that they did in Revelation 12. That's why he's saying, because Esau or Cain and his false gods have been lying to the world, you thought that you were helping him when you are destroying him. And this is what the secret societies take the oath not to tell you, because they are destroying him too. All of the people that run the solidarity, like the guy was saying, that whole club, the club of the people who used to live in the caves, they are being used to destroy King Congo. Because what is King Congo? The whole earth. His people are scattered everywhere, and this is his creation. So while they're making you, they create the problem, and then they try to say, oh, we can solve it. No way. Because the hypocrites will never fix because they are with hypocrites. Okay. Now watch what he says. I will take vengeance for you. I will dry up her river. I will make her water source dry. Yep. America going to run on the water. A lot of, that's why they're trying to cut. They're trying to do it now. How you make water out of the air. Babylon will become a heap of ruins, a place, you see, and it's drying up, and now you had the flooding and stuff. Watch what's going to happen. Together they roar like young lions, grow come. When they are not a heart with desire, I will prepare them a drink. I will make them so drunk, they will have convulsions, sleep forever, and never wake up. <laughs> you think that this ain't going to happen, people? I will drag them down like lambs to be slaughtered like rams and male goats. This is what we're talking about when we're talking about that the, the, the false, the cow god, the bell god is going to be now taking you to the slaughter. So this scripture is now going to happen again. And that's what it's talking about in Revelation 17. And see, because they modified the book of Revelation already and you think they didn't change it, it's like, no, there's a group that is going to be different from the others. Like Toko talked about Ark Mawanda. And that's why I said, you keep listening to these people that want to say they are Simon Toko when there's only certain people that have been given this privilege. I told you the one thing that let me tell you about this guy here. Benedict. This guy created a fake Mayamona. And he's also responsible for what went on with the Kimbangus. He also, from 2005 until 2013, he established the regime 
that is now coming after the diaspora. And then he is finishing the job. I want you to pay attention because technically he's already gone. The guy who is playing him is not, you're going to find out, is not the real guy. He already, his 11 years was already, and see, look, his number, 266. Twelve is three is two is five. If you know the number five and the way it's affiliated with the Illuminati Secret Society people, that's why he's finishing. He's trying to finish everything off. Now, you notice how he was born in 36. He was born in Argentina, which is very much a racist place. Okay, now black people, you don't, man, you have problems down there, guaranteed. Okay, don't think that you're gonna be talking to no woman down there in Argentina and be black. Uh, you better watch yourself. You better be one of them famous people. <laughs> you bet that's the way it go. Okay, even then, like I said, this whole thing about apes on horses, <laughs> yeah, that's what they call the cowboy. That used to be the cowhand used to do the same thing. You don't even know. Okay, why do you think he came into the picture? Why is it Francis? Oh, he's the one that could speak. The one that could speak to the animals was Simon Toko, who was what Adamoyo was Simon Toko in the beginning. The first man was also Simon Toko. And everybody that was doing the most highs, everybody that was doing the most highs way in spirit and in truth was Simon Toko. Oh, you don't get it. Mayamona, which means one who can see. That's how you translate it in English. One who can see. That's what the Holy Spirit means. Okay, I'm going to stop there because I'm going too long. Let me do the music. I don't have the um, rights to it. I'll do the next one later. But this is why they want to sit there and let these people keep wondering. About, and, and I told you, the education, the system, everything was used for this purpose. Hold on. Oh, Father. Sorry. I'm going to do the remote. One second. Be right back. Sorry, I think I lost it. That's weird. Sorry. Oh, my apologies, people. Still Spanish. Oh, here it is. Sorry. All right, here we go. Okay, then I don't own the rights to the song. I don't know. One second. Sorry. And other things dads did. When you want a one of a kind gift, just show him he's number one. 
And then my wife went off. That's weird. It never does that. Sorry. I don't know why the song just went off. Now, follow me. That means look at Judah. Look at Judah. Let me show you. Look at Judah. Kalabuna, see? Andre, Mosi, a band too. He was a band too. Yai, band Zinza, ya band Bantumwa, ya Tere Simoni. Yaboke Bankaka, Pierre, but this is uh, Kepa, and P. Andri, Pangu, Yakobo, Mwana, Ya Zebedeo, Yoane, and Pange, Yandi, Filippo, Barteleme, Toma, Mateo, Matea, Kalaki, Yakobo, Mwana, Ya Alpe, I'll, I'll fail. I'll fail because the F is a P. Tadeo. That's how you say Tadeus. Tadeo. Simoni. Muntu. Ya Kanana. Ya Yudasi. Escariote. Ya Yadasi. Yudasi. Judah. Yandi. Nima. That's how you say Judas. And we got a lot of you. Uh, by Yudasi. That's our problem. Lot of them, my son, are you? Lot of Judas for so long. You don't even know. Umbanza. Congo literally means the city of truth. And look, they call it in, in Sao Salvador, which means the saint of salvation. See, that's how you actually say salvation in Latin, <laughs> Salvador. Let me see, let me show you. Savior in Latin. Liberator. <laughs> oh, Salvatorem, meaning a saver. They know Jesus. Mm. 
I don't tell you, let me tell you this. Isus, Esos, Jesus, Isus was a Celtic god who was worshipped primarily in ancient Gaul. Also known as the name it says, it also goes back also known the glory sacrifice ordered by the Celtic deities, Isus, an inspiration form of Isus and Tyrannus. Isus, the manuscript, okay, Isus, I, Isus among the pair, okay, pillar of the boatmen, first century CE. That is not, this is Tammuz, people. That's not the most high chosen. All they did was put an I. And a J, then they switch it to a J. <laughs> and he was the spirit of Simon the Sorcerer. Yesuwe Hamasia Yesu Christu, the Chiluba, Banabetu of Isolele, is the one who is the Ngangan Zambi, high priest. Simba. Because it means he grabbed the whole heel of Isa. Just like Yakubo. Yakubi means the same thing. Oh, I need, they want me to help me read the scripture of the me. Hold on. This is the Maleki Maltizadek. I'm going to print this out so you can read it for yourself. And put this up. Another scripture I was supposed to read in Kikongo, but I went and played too long. Uh, all praises, Kimball. I was supposed to read from the Book of the Bee. One second. This is a website that you can see. Uh, where did it go? One second. supposed to read this real quick because we're getting closer now it was going to be the part all right did you do that okay where is the Sorry. <laughs> Man, 
instance. But there was a specific thing I wanted to read out of it real quick. When it talks about It is right for us to know how this suffer and who will suffer in Gehenna, which is what they call Dante's Inferno. If they do suffer, how can we say that they are impassable? And if they do not suffer, then there is no torture for. If they do not suffer, then there is no torture for sinners. If there is no torture for sinners in preparation to their sins, neither can there be happiness for the righteous as a reward for their labors. The suffering, whether with the fathers say that sinners will suffer in Gehenna, is not one that will pain the limbs, such as the blows of the sticks and mutilation of the fresh or breaking of the bones, but will be but one that will afflict the soul, such as grief for the transgression of what is right, repentance for shameful deeds, and banishment from the one whom he is bound in love and from which affection is strong. For in the resurrection, we shall not be without perception, like the sun which perceived not his splendor, nor the moon her brilliance, nor the pearl its beauty, but by the power of reason, we shall feel perfectly the delight of our happiness and the keen pain of our torture. So then by which enables the righteous to perceive the pleasures of their happiness, by, by that sameness thing will the wicked be also perceive the suffering of their torment by the power capable of receiving pleasure, which is intelligence. Hence, it is right for us to be certain that the intelligence will not be taken away from us, but we will receive the utmost purification and refinement. And the problem is the only way to receive this is to actually understand the difference between the kingdom of Tatanzambi versus the kingdom of Lucifer. Even the, uh, the Orthodox Church has gone astray. You don't understand. You must come to the Banabeto of Isolide that they stole the church from us. And Toko took it back and they have been lying about it because they're still trying to hang on and not force revelation because they know what revelation three and nine means. Revelation three and nine means the Messiah loved the Banabetu of Isolele, the Bakonga Bayuda people. And he hated Iswe, Esau. But Esau is tricking the world that he is loved and that Jacob was the one who was hated that needed to find his father when we already knew. It's a lie. We're going searching for what we already had. And they tricked us. And we're paying rent for something we already own. And we're giving away what already belongs to us. And this is the deception that the world does not get. And they're helping the process because they're so distracted, they don't even know what's going on. That since the 1980s, this is why they made it the way it was and they made all the changes from the 70s and the 80s. They knew they were supposed to hand it back over to him. And he, just, and he said, okay, I, I, I'm gonna give you what you want. That meant that the world rejected the Messiah and they didn't even know because the rich people have been lying to you because they were all involved in it. All the wealthy people have been involved in it. Whether you realize it or not, all the governments have helped you reject the truth by continuing to preach the lie and now it's over. All right.
All right, so Kembo, hallelujah. Umbote once again. Uh, Salakambote. Um, Salama. Ibula, Bulaka. People, the church is not a building. It never was. The church was always the temple of Tatanzambi and Pungu. And it was spiritual, not physical, always. And the world continues to be deceived because they don't understand. You cannot mix the knowledge of good and evil together and be saved. It has to be the knowledge of good only. And this is why the blind have continued to go down the wrong direction because they are destroying, they are destroying the salvation they're looking for because they're looking for something that's staring them in the face all the time and they don't even realize it because they have you chasing your tail, thinking that you have it right because the heart is prideful and you're living in the false lies and these pastors are working for the brood of vipers, all of them, and they know. That's why they want to live so long because they know what they're going to face because they're helping the gatekeepers have been lying to you and now they're going to all be exposed. Anyway, Zola Klingi, Sambololo, Ingitzer.